Governor Hogan's State of the State address should come as a comfort for those exhausted by political rhetoric. He praised the mostly Democratic General Assembly for working with his administration. WJC's Live political reporter Pat Warren with the governor's speech. Pat? Well, Vic, in the spirit of more unites us than divides us, Governor Hogan began his State of the State on a personal note. As he himself and House Speaker Michael Bush have had serious health battles, Governor Hogan opened with well wishes for Senate President Mike Miller, who is battling cancer. And I want you to know that we are all praying that you come out of this stronger than ever. God bless you. Hogan's State of the State followed a familiar theme. Without partiality. From the inauguration on January 16th to his news conference on the budget and a visit to TSA security checkpoints, Governor Hogan has not failed to compare Maryland's bipartisan successes to Washington's partisan failures. We have shown the rest of America that a divided government does not have to be a divisive government. With tax cuts proposed for retirees and business incentives for mom and pop shops, Hogan also proposes tougher sentences for repeat offenders, approved by Mayor Pugh. But I do like the idea of um, making sure that we keep violent offenders off our streets. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski likes the proposal for school construction. For Baltimore County in the state, but we have uh, really acute needs in the area of school construction. Partnership resonated with Howard County's Calvin Ball. Well, the governor has been a great partner when it comes to things like the opioid epidemic and transportation. We have spent the past four years working together to tackle our common problems. And the Senate president says he's up to the challenge. I'm just honored to be able to serve and do this at the same time. I'm pleased to report that the state of our state has never been stronger. And the biggest order of business will be the budget, not to say that there won't be some skirmishes. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.